family and friends. You are just in time. In this special episode, you'll meet our other friends who also love the two hearts. We're gonna visit our sisters in Nebraska. Will you come with us? See you there. Hi children, hay alguien más que los quiere saludar. There's someone else that would like to say hi to you. Would you like to come? Vamos. Did you see something in the chapel that you've seen before? Maybe in the house of the sisters in Alabama? Did you say the heart of Jesus and the heart of Mary? Well, you're right. All the sisters, all the limb sisters have devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. Would you like to sing a song about Jesus and Mary? Great, muy bien, vamos. Upward, upward, downward, happy all the time. I'm inward, upward, upward, downward, happy all the time. Since Jesus came to me and washed away my sins, I'm inward, upward, upward, downward, happy all the time. us. Now I would like you to meet some of our kids of our daycare and what they have to say about their love for Jesus and Mary. Mother in heaven too! What's happening? 
Mama Mary. Mama Mary. Right. And his baby. And baby who? Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Would you? Do you pray every day? Oh, what do you tell them? Well, I tell that. I love her all my heart. Oh. Oh. I love Mama Mary. I laid out all my ingredients because today we're going to make two hearts cookies. In honor of the month of June, we're going to celebrate the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So to make these simple cookies, you're going to need a few ingredients. The first are lady fingers. You can buy lady fingers in the grocery store in a box similar to this, or you can use any long cookie that you have at home. And then you're going to need fresh strawberries cut into slices. You're going to need chocolate brown sprinkles and I have here confetti sprinkles and I have a packet of white icing that I'm going to use and this is orange icing. These are already made but you can make your own and then you're going to need a toothpick that I have right here and some kitchen scissors. So let's get ready. So if you've noticed we're in a new limb kitchen, this is the sister's kitchen all the way from Nebraska. And over here, I have Sister Jennifer who lives here. Hi everyone, I'm Sister Jennifer. And I'm so happy that you all can join us here in Nebraska. I am very excited about this. Okay, let's get started. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take one lady finger, put it on your plate, and you're gonna place it in a straight line, just like that. And then you're gonna get the other lady finger and you're gonna cut it with scissors down the middle. I'm going to try. So now with the lady fingers, we are going to make a cross. So I'm going to actually put the lady finger all the way to its side, flat like a minus symbol. And then you're going to put one stick of the finger on the top and one on the bottom. Does that look like a cross to you? Yes, it does. So now we need to let the cross stick together. So that's why we have our white icing. We're going to apply it on one end of our lady finger that we broke. And that's going to stick to the top of our 
cookie. And then we're going to do the bottom part. Here you go. Thank you. Very good. So do you like to bake, Sister Jennifer? Oh yes, Sister Ursula. And I was so happy that you came to Nebraska because I just love watching Faith Delights. And I learned so much by watching you. That's awesome. And a lot of our kids watch us too. And they've had many great pictures of all their food. So now we have our cross. Now we're going to put our heart. So again, I took a strawberry, sliced it down the middle, so it's cut like this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to place it in the middle of the cookie, but I'm going to need more icing so it won't fall off. So I'm going to apply the icing to the middle of the cookie, and then stick my heart on the top. You going to try? Yes. Like that? Very good. It's perfect. Now, Sister Jennifer is going to work on the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and I'm going to work on the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And before we begin decorating, this is a toothpick. And all I did was I put a white top on the bottom to look like a sword. Do you know why the Blessed Mother has a sword through her heart, Sister Jennifer? Why, Sister Ursula? So did you know that in the Gospel of Luke, the prophet Simeon foretold that Mary's heart was going to be pierced by a sword. So this sword is going to represent the sorrows that Mary experienced, and most especially the saddest sorrow of all when Jesus died on the cross. So I'm going to put this right through the strawberry and let it come out the other end. So now I have a sword through her heart. Now let's decorate. Sister, you can do the cross and I'll do the heart. So if you notice, all we're doing is we're putting our sprinkles through the middle of the strawberries. My colorful sprinkles are going to represent flowers or roses, and sisters are going to represent crowns of thorns. It looks good, Sister Jennifer. Thank you. And to top it off, we're going to put a flame because the hearts of Jesus and Mary were inflamed with lots of love. So I have here orange icing. Can you try? Thank you. Wow, it looks beautiful. So now we have the two hearts of Jesus and Mary, the Sacred Heart and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Thank you, Sister Jennifer. Thank you. Hope you can come back and cook with us next time. Yes, I would love that. Bye, everyone. from the back side, we're going to sneak them in all three. When I twist, I don't want, I want to be able to, to show these, show these out. So sometimes that's where I need to wire down. But use these three paths, or, or whatever you have, um, to help separate the, the flowers.
Thank you for joining us in this limb post. Join us next time when we talk about the Assumption of Mary. Bye! Bye. Ave Maria! Maria.